Welcome to another informative episode of Housing Development. I am Flora Annie, your housing diva. It's still the month of March where we celebrate women. So against that backdrop, we shall be discussing some topical issues as it relates to women today on the program. As everyone, regardless of gender, has the right to a decent shelter and improved well-being. For when you give man his basic needs such as food, shelter, healthcare, and basic education, including clothing, you've given him the necessities of life. Let's see the news making waves in the sector. I'll be back shortly. The Nigerian Institute of Building, NIOB, has said that Lagos State accounts for 60% of reported cases of building collapse in Nigeria. National President of the Institute, Kunle Awobodu, who disclosed this at the groundbreaking ceremony of NIOB yesterday in Abuja, said, Professionalism in building construction remained the first step to reducing substandard building construction practices across the country. He said, There has been many building collapse cases in Nigeria. Conservatively, Lagos accounts for about 60% of the figure of collapsed buildings. The ongoing affordable housing project of Family Homes Fund Limited in Yobe and Bauchi would soon be completed. This was made known by the company's managing director, Femi Adeole, during a trip to Bauchi and Yobe, where the organization is executing 4,289 units of affordable houses for low-income earners. The trip was to survey and evaluate both completed and ongoing site projects in those states. The project stakeholders had several interactions which gave a genuine sense of appreciation for the ongoing projects and the solutions they offer. The Lagos State Chairman of Nigeria Institute of Architects, David Majekodumi, has called for education on building code as a solution for structural failures in the construction industry. He said this at the second Builders Day, which was held recently. He said most professionals are not practicing within the ambit of our enabling laws, stating that there is a lot of enrichment in rendering of services but relevant to each professional body, which should not be the case. He further emphasized that it has been negatively impacted in many ways, especially in the post-global pandemic, due to projects being stalled and its huge effect on the economy. He therefore called for the implementation of the building code to bring harmony among professionals in the sector. He further emphasized that it has been negatively impacted in many ways, especially in the post-global pandemic, due to projects being stalled and its huge effects on the economy. He therefore called for the implementation of building code to bring harmony amongst professionals in the sector. A report published on Monday by the National Bureau of Statistics has indicated that the responsibility for feeding the 205 million estimated Nigerian population fell on 46.4 million people at the end of 2020. The 2024 quarter unemployment report, NBX explained, that the working age population between October and December 2020 was 122 million, 49,000, 400, which was 4.3% higher than the figure recorded in the second quarter of 2020. However, the total number of persons in the labor force was estimated to be 69,675,468. Debbie Herb. I work for OPIC in the United States and uh, keep watching the affordable housing development program. Abuja uh, International Housing Show. It's about the whole of Nigeria, the whole of West Africa. You have stakeholders coming from all over and in fact globally. It's an excellent way of bringing thought leaders, investors to come together and figure out ways to increase capacity in developing housing.
wood preservative surpasses all preventive measures designed to permanently prevent the damage and quality reduction of wood and wood-based materials by termites, fungi, bacteria, and other boring insects. Use Timberlock Premium Wood Preservative to prevent, correct, and defend wood and wood materials against deformities caused by termites and other insects in the later days. Timberlock is designed to solve wood preservation challenges with a standard you can trust. Timberlock Wood Preservative kills termites instantly. Timberlock Wood Preservative, the wood preservative brand leader in Africa. For full details of the news visit www.africanhousingnews.com The issue of joint property ownership remains controversial. The question is, should a spouse insist on both names on land or property document? Now let's take a listen as some Nigerians give answer to this question on Voices on the Street. <music> As a matter of fact, I do. I think where both um, parties, spouses, agree to have joint properties, the documentation is very critical, very key, especially considering the um, environment we live in, our cultures, you know. So I believe I'm an advocate that both parties should have their name properly written, full names, no initials, full names stated properly on the document so that there is no ambiguity as to who is who especially where you have a situation where the man has other wives or something both parties must have their names properly written on the documents yes i would like to and that's because in case my husband died or just to avoid trouble I would like to include my name so that it will be written there that after he died, the property belongs to me. No, as long as my children are concerned, I will not include my wife because my wife is 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 not is not really uh it's, it's, it's not it's not from me. I don't know how to, I don't know how to, to exactly put it, but because of my children, because women they are very funny, so maybe tomorrow if I'm late now, she might like to channel the whole thing and. Possibly go away with my children and go with the property. Sure. Why? Uh, my wife is a part of me. I see her to be me in all things. And uh, if truly I love her, then uh, I think I should not hide anything from her. So for that reason, my properties, she has a share. Yes, I would like to have it because of my children. So that at the so that my children will inherit the property not at the end of everything my husband people will come and snatch or collect the property One of the most prominent features of your house is your roof. Your roof will tell how old your building is. At Plus World, we pride ourselves in having the expertise and products to bring your roof back to life. While other roofing companies suggest removing the roof, we restore the roof with warranty assurance. Let Plus World Roofing recoach your old and fading roofs and make your roofs brand new. Our products are eco-friendly and completely harmless to human and the environment. We offer services that will sustain your roof's integrity and by extension, your property value. This includes roof repairs and maintenance for residential, commercial and industrial properties. Our roof restoration solution saves you up to 70% the cost of replacing your roof. Contact Plus World Roofing today.
fully persuaded about the need for a more sustainable, modern, creatively crafted and functional design, Urban Shelter Limited has developed yet another masterpiece that so easily breaks the borders of creativity and dispels mediocrity. Well seated and over 210,000 square meter of land and marked for housing development, the Promenade Estate is located in an excellent part of the federal capital territory, Lokogoma, a central point in Abuja, proximal to most places of relative significance and attraction and edged by multiple access roads where homeowners can swiftly meet up with schedules and appointments. Pushing the frontiers of communal living, the Promenade Estate has within its borders two-bedroom and four-bedroom semi-detached for the purpose of facilitating communal living, while homeowners have well-defined mutually exclusive spaces. The Promenade Estate appeals to the minds of intellectuals, professionals, and homeowners who have a thirst for a house that sits comfortably on global standard. Urban shelter setting the pace. Well, those are the opinions of some Nigerians on voices on the street. But know that the decision for joint property ownership is personal and unique to every couple. If you're still wondering if it is okay or not, legal practitioner Victor Nodi will shed more light on this topic. Take a listen. You see, when couples come together to acquire properties, most times they don't get to talk about the quantum of contributions each make. That is always lost in the whole in the whole arrangement. Nobody talks about, oh, my wife brought 40 percent, I brought 60. Oh, this property belongs to Mr. And, Mr. and Mrs. A and B. That's what you get to hear most times, or you get to see. So when problem does occur, for example, let me let me let me give you some situations that problem can come up. One, the couple might fall out and they decide to go their separate ways. It be through divorce or they just separate and they don't go they don't bother to go for divorce and when they do separate now what become what happens what becomes of the properties they both acquire jointly i know situations have has a reason where the wife will say look i don't want to have anything to do with this man anymore i want the property partition that's how the law explains it partition means sell it and we share it equally or lease it out we share the proceeds equally don't use it except i also have a right you, you seek my consent don't use it for a loan don't use it to, to i mean to as a collateral without my consent and of course if you are going to sell it it must have my it must have our joint signatures you see the, the, the complexities that comes from there my advice really with with uncertainties in the society we live in i will advise that people should be more circumspect they should not be in a hurry to go into joint ownership of properties. They should not go be, um, be in a hurry to go into joint ownership of accounts. It doesn't stop anything. It doesn't affect your relationship with your spouse. If you decide to have a distinct account, a separate account from your spouse's. If you choose to do joint ownership of properties, and because of emotions and whatever, for whatever reasons, uh, do tidy up other details. You are going to buy properties with your, with your spouse, let it show from the documentation that we are both involved. But if everything else come to, like they would say, if the push come to shove, then you resort to the court. You might be, as a matter of fact, a co-owner of the properties, but because you don't do some of these little, little things that needs to, needed to be done at inception, you cannot really prove your case in court. And then you, you will not have problem of court, say sorry, this is not a, a Father Christmas. You don't come here to come and get, you see, if you say you are a co-owner, where, where, on what basis am I going to base my decision? That's where I said, be careful to do the little, little things that matter. You know, when the man and his wife are married statutorily, and anything happens to the man, the wife is the first is a successor. That's what the law recognizes. And of course, letter of admission will be issued to the wife, and maybe other adult children. Are you with me? So, the, for a top party to now, in, I mean, talop and get involved. The, the law will not allow that. And also, also it, it also will be dependent on how the kind of wife she is. If she's the one that is laid back, we allow people to come and trample her on her and take away her properties. That could also become an issue.
Welcome back. You're watching Housing Development. The second edition of the most applauded Construction Artisans Awards competition is already on the way with grand finale scheduled for the 29th to 30th March 2021 at the Moshud Abiola Stadium, formerly called National Stadium Abuja. Builder Samson Okbalua, the chairman of Construction Artisans Award, will speak more. The Construction Artisans Award is a national skill competition geared towards celebrating and rewarding Nigerian artisans with a focus on providing support to them through sustainable resources such as financial incentives, free work tools, equipment, training and assessment. Speaking with the chairman of the Construction Artisans Award, Biodo Samson Opalua, he says the award was put in place to celebrate quality artisanship with the aim of raising the bar of artisanship and competency within the industry and most importantly to glamorize artisanship. The intention is to raise the bar, artisanship and competency within the construction sector. We intend to achieve all this by giving them a platform to test their skills, to get assessed and ultimately to glamorize artisanship. Speaking further, he says the maiden edition, which was held in 2019, was a huge success. And for the 2021 edition, all plans are in place as all COVID-19 safety protocols would be adhered to. We held the first, the maiden edition in 2019. It was a roaring success. However, last year, we couldn't hold it because of the pandemic, uh, because our program uh, brings people together and uh, it, it breaks some of the protocols that were put in place by, uh, by the pandemic and we had to change the course and now we are ready. We are ready to comply with the protocol as well as ensure that standards are kept and maintained. He also stated that the artisans' data will be captured nationally so that they can easily be assessed by those who may need their services while also emphasizing on the need to give support to competitions of this nature. I want to use this opportunity to invite all and sundry to come and see our artisans display their expertise. At that venue also we are going to give them opportunity to meet with those who can support them if they want to go into entrepreneurship and we are going to capture their data nationally so that we will know what is the competence of each artisan and where they are located. And we intend also to export this on other platforms so that whenever artisans of particular competency are required, they can be assessed easily. We have already created a website which will give all the data and the details so that those who need their expertise and their uh, competency will be able to access them easily. It's a major development in our country and uh, I enjoy all and sundry to participate and to come and be with us. There is a need to support competitions of this nature because it gives credence to the desire to up the scale of competency in this country. Uh, a nation that wants to develop must support and continue to drive at excellence. And this is what we want to do in the construction sector. And we ask that people should support and join us, and even other sectors should emulate us. I am Dr. Sam, the Senate Committee Chairman and House. Keep watching Housing Development Program. The program is housing development. Do you know that the Abuja International Housing Show is creating a platform for educating the youth on mortgage and how to own a house? As a young man or a lady, if you can afford to pay your annual rent, then you can also afford to own a house. If you can afford to buy a car, you can also afford to own your own apartment. It's that simple. At the 15th Abuja International Housing Show, which will take place from the 26th to the 29th of July 2021 at the International Conference Center Abuja, Nigeria, mortgage banks that can assist you to own a house as well as real estate developers will all be there. Why not sign up today? 
The Abuja Housing Show is an annual event that brings together many vendors and exhibitors, providing attendees the opportunity of networking. The Housing and Construction Expo ran, during which time approximately 15,000 people attended the event. Abuja Housing Show generally attracts foreign visitors to Nigeria and the host city, Abuja. There is always an influx of visitors and the opportunity to network with thousands of attendees from contractors, developers, architects, government and other construction industry professionals. We will feature over 200 local and international exhibitors and thousands of quality attendees showcasing the latest projects, development, investment and opportunities. The most highly regarded Abuja Housing Show Conference and Exhibitions aims to not only bring together top decision makers in the housing construction industry but also create opportunities for the visitors to witness and experience the latest equipment, machineries, innovation of construction, interior designs and property developers. Why exhibit? Meet the right people. The event will bring together the key players in the market, providing exhibitors with valuable face time with both existing clients and potential new business partners. It is the best way to make sure you are meeting the right people for you. Exhibitions are a great way to build relationships, make sales and gather relevant leads. Face-to-face -face interaction allows your sales team to achieve the equivalent of two months of work across three days. Exhibitions are a great way to stand out from the crowd, build an attention-grabbing stand, have your best staff on site, conduct some effective pre-show promotions and scrupulously follow up with the contacts you've made. Showcase your latest product and solutions. Take advantage of the high number of visitors and the various demo programs throughout the event. To showcase your latest product and build your brand awareness, appeal to all visitors looking for solutions for their major construction and infrastructure projects by introducing your latest technologies and services. Abuja Housing Show is the ideal event for any new product and technology launches. Keep a date with Housing Development Program every week on AIT. Housing Development is the first and pioneer housing program in Nigeria and by extension Africa. It remains the authentic voice of the Nigerian housing and construction industry. Housing Development is the only credible and specialized platform for seasoned professionals in the build industry where quality and credible players in the real estate sector meet to interact, showcase and analyze government policies. It is no doubt that hundreds of thousands of prospective Nigerians who desire to own their personal properties have done so through the assistance of housing development program in the last 10 years. If you are a stakeholder in the build industry, here is where you must be. We are authentic credible and supported by all the leading professionals in the built industry. Housing Development on AIT All right, that is it on Housing Development today. Thanks for watching. I remain Flora Arnie. Your house in Diva. See you soon and do stay safe out there.